Today we're doing beef bones with whiskey butter and toast. Well, lunch is looking like what they call butter of the gods. So to start a simple, you know, bone marrow dish, you really only need some salt and pepper, a really nice chunk of toast, and beef bones. Butter of the gods pairs really nice with some rich butter, whiskey flavored butter. In the pan, we diced up some leek and a little bit of garlic. Everybody loves garlic. And we seasoned the butter again further with some fresh herbs and started to saute that down in some butter. Just a real gentle heat. Once that's started to cook down and get really nice and soft, we pour in as many shots of whiskey as you like. Light it on fire to get that alcohol out and all of those beautiful flavors in that whiskey remain in the butter. You can sort of take your time with the bones or go real hot. You're not burning the marrow out in any sort of way with a really hot heat. But, you know, something over the coals with some flames coming up and just licking the bones is totally cool. What you're looking for is that solid marrow, um, solid in color to start looking a little more opaque. So you're getting that marrow nice and soft, cooking all of the red out of it, and getting it to the point where it's just nice and gelatinous, and then it comes off the heat. Rye sourdough bread. This is a beautiful, beautiful loaf with some amazing sharp and sour flavors to it, and it pairs really, really well with that creamy, rich taste that comes along with the, with the bone marrow for sure. When the bones are done, they're pretty much ready to eat. So we've got our whiskey butter, and we want to drizzle that on top, and we've got these beautiful, magical, soft little pieces of leek and garlic, fine chopped parsley, and dust that on top with some fresh cut chilies and a little hit of lemon juice, and it's pretty much just ready to dig in. What better way to, you know, celebrate primitive nature out in the woods camping over a fire and you've got bones salt and pepper a little bit of hot fire and this is one of the easiest and most rich things that you can prepare out in the wild and anybody can get their hands on this and do it